Chapman. Who? Greetings. Greetings, I'm Rob Chapman. Greetings, and I'm the captain. And we are at Anderton's in Guildford. It is. It's September 2018. Welcome to part four, episode quattro. Quattro Stagioni. Of of the uh, Gibson USA 2018 lineup. Uh, And in part four, we shall cover the wonderfully named... S-G. I just want to apologise to all the Italians watching who were going, oh, you said Quattrostagioni. Did but I? Did you? Or did you? you I did. said Quattrostagioni, which what does is that mean? Four Seasons. Ah. But uh, I'm sorry. By Vivaldi. Yeah. An excellent composer. Well, Almost as good as Axl Rose. Almost as good as the pizza. Um, so, the S-G stands for Solid Guitar. Don't want to really give you a history lesson, I'm sure you know all this, but basically back in the early 60s when somebody crazy at Gibson just went, nah, Les Paul's not cool, is it? Let's just make a different guitar and put Let's the word Les Paul in And, you know, we'll call it the SG, and then Les Paul went, I don't like it, take my name off it. Uh, and then they went back to making the Les Paul, and then the SG carried on, and now they're both iconic. <gasps> that was like the history of Gibson in two it seconds. Was. So, in 2018... <laughs> There are three SG models in the range. Actually, that's not true. There are four because there is a high-performance version of this, but we'll come to that later. So there are three. There is the SG Standard, which really I should have got in cherry because that is the iconic SG Standard colour. But the colours for this guitar will appear on screen probably at some point in this video. Maybe not. It could be right there for all we know. They could be, They're probably they? right in front Excuse of us, me? we can't see them. <laughs> Hello! Um, <laughs> and I'll tell you a little bit about that in a minute, and then we've got an SG Special, and we've got an SG Faded, available in different colours and stuff like that. But um, where should we start, Robert? Well, Top, I mean, bottom, I, I suppose we'll start with me asking you a question. Go on. What are these pickups, bro? They are mini humbuckers. Oh. And they have no model number per se in the Gibson uh, catalogue. They're just called mini humbuckers. And mini humbuckers are weird, really, aren't they? You, you don't see them very often. You probably see them on a Firebird, maybe, more yeah. than anything. Um, and I don't... If I'm totally honest with you, they just sound like bigger humbuckers, but they're but smaller. slightly less hot? So, I, no, I don't think there's any real hotness. Really? Maybe. Maybe it's like the difference between a one of them Naga... Nuclear chilies and, and a normal one. I don't really know. But you mean like on our favourite show, Hot Ones? Yeah, on our favourite show, Hot that Ones. We'd absolutely love to be on at some point, please. Um, not to be uh, confused with the pedal manufacturer, Hot Ones, or Hotones, no. as we never <laughs> quite sure what to call them. <laughs> um, so, yeah, mini humbuckers. Actually, do you know what? I'm going to start with this one because it's just going to make more sense right, then. and then we'll get down. So, the, the standard is. The, you know, it's it's the SG that we know and love. It's the SG that I suppose throughout the years many, many famous players have, have used. None more so probably than Angus Young. But, you know, Derek Trucks, a bunch of other guys like that. Who was it? Carlos Santana was an SG guy for a while. Anyway. Frank Zappa. Zappa. Oh, shout. My favourite SG player. Um, and it's basically like a, a thinner version of a Les Paul with a slab top. The neck Um, joins the body in a slightly sort of further up position, which gives you the sort of sense that the neck is a bit longer, even though the scale length is the same as a Les Paul. And on the standard for 2018, we've really, to be honest, you've got pretty standard set of features. We've got some locking machine heads, which is cool. And other than that, we've got a pair of humbuckers. It's the 61R and the 61T. Um, It's actually the same humbuckers that's on this one. Gloss finish, solid mahogany, beautiful. I think it's quarter sawn mahogany, so you always get the nice kind of grain showing through. And this is the standard. Comes in a beautiful case. Pretty similar looking case, actually, to the one that the Les Pauls are coming in, so. I'm so glad that SGs are coming in cases because I actually own an SG standard and it did not come in a case. No way. Yeah, it didn't come in a case. I had to get a Gator case. Shut the front door. Shut that front door. Um, and cheese and rice, man. As per the Les Paul standard, if you are a little bit more adventurous, you know, you like maybe going to the cinema, watching Fifty Shades of Grey and thinking, I might try some of that when I get home. <laughs> maybe you might like the HP version of the SG standard, uh, which we don't have one today, but here come some nice pictures of them on screen. And they have all the uh, HP features. HP stands for high performance, by the way, like the um, GeForce <coughs> automatic sort of tuners, the um, all-access heel joint, the slightly wider neck, 
things like that. Yes. Um, Do you know actually, what? to be honest with you, I think also as well, I don't know if they've done this on the SG, um, you'll be able to tell me because you've got pictures on the screen now, but on the Les Paul, they've taken away the pickup rings. So I don't, have they done that on the SG as well? Yes. Maybe they have. I don't know. Um, They're going to find out. You know what struck me when I picked up this special? What? Just an interesting thing from a, a player's point of view. Mm -hmm. uh, speaking as a father, uh, the, the strings feel closer together than they do on any of the Les Pauls. And, and, but what it feels like is the neck is almost the same width. So if you look, there's quite a lot of space between the E strings and the end of the fretboard, which means you can get away with dangerously wild vibrato. And kind of, you know, you can, you can absolutely just, you know. I'm looking at the... The nut width on the spec is 1.695 inches, uh, which I'm pretty sure is the same as what was on the Les Pauls. Yeah, but I think the string spacing's different. I don't think it can be, because the bridge is the bridge assembly is the same, and I'm if the nut width is the well, same... Well, I, I did the disclaimer and, of speaking as a player. Unless the neck is marge... I don't know. So I, I might be wrong, but I know it what you just mean. feels that way. It just... I know what you mean. How wild can you make your vibrato before that E string goes off the edge? Let me see. Let me just have a quick listen. Not very. Right. <laughs> So, uh, that was me maybe... being facetious. Hang on. Go crazy. Pretty... I mean, I wouldn't normally go it's that crazy. It's a lot. It's pretty crazy. I mean, you can literally pull down. You can pull down several millimeters. Well, so the SG range basically has three guitars in it. One for, well, four if you count the, the HP version. So the standard is gonna set you back, he says, moving some rubbish around on the floor, 11.99. Pretty sure that's what it was last year. I might be wrong, but 11.99 for a standard. Now, if that is uh, a little too rich for you, don't worry, because uh, by removing some of the features like uh, binding and some of the way Lacker. they do the lacquering, etc., uh, etc., et uh, and the case, because you get this. I actually think I might even prefer this. I don't know. I'm certainly not case. disappointed with it. So the, the two other guitars here. The special comes with this case. Yeah, they both they both come and with this case. How much is the special? Uh, the special is eight forty nine. Did you Did you hear that? was the sound of all the specials being bought at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, now, again, you've got a couple of choices of colours, albeit slightly plainer colours. Um, you've got the mini humbuckers on there, so we'll get into some tones in a minute, and they will sound a bit different. Uh, you've got this block inlay, which I don't know if I'm... I don't know if I like the block inlay. I definitely I, like the trapezoidal. Is it all right if I say a negative thing about this guitar? Of course. Will you forgive me, YouTube? I don't like these inlays. I think it looks like... I wish it was just the regular in like, the Yeah, you know what they've sort of done is they've taken that kind of 70s vibe from like a 335, and I think if anything, they've made the blocks maybe slightly smaller. But yeah, it's not my bag, it but It reminds that's me aesthetic. of Pong. Do you remember Pong? We had the little bat and the, the, the knob, and you, yeah. would, and you would play what? the game Pong. And these, that's like, what the little... we need, Gibson, to invent our inlays that move up and down whilst pinging a square tennis ball back to each other on the fret. It's coming, kids. I tell you, by 2053, that's the kind of guitars we'll have. The cheaper one, again, has just got the dot inlays, which I really like, because I think the sort of student type affordable guitars in and the Gibson range have always had dots. And this also comes with the gig bag? Yeah, so this is the faded, and the, this one's actually got the same pickups as this one, comes in that beautiful gig bag, $7.99. But we'll get on to that in a minute. So let me, let me show you some tones of the beautiful SG Standard. <laughs> No coil tappy stuff, it's just straight up. the SG isn't it because you know many people will believe that wood doesn't make a difference and all that kind of stuff and of course the 
you can take the same kind of pickups and put the same bridge assembly on an SG and they do sound different to a Les Paul in a, in a sort of a... What are you trying to say, Lee? That it's got a little bit less bass end, a little bit more mid-range, and that I think it's the construction of the guitar that does that rather than, you know, something mechanical. Just saying. That's only my opinion. Um, so that's the SG. As I said, if you want to go up and you want to go all bling and you want to go the high performance version of this, which is super cool if that's your bag, uh, but I guess the traditionists won't really like it, but you know, the, the innovators will. And that is this year, $16.99, and I think comes with a different case too. Something I do like about this is although it's a bit more affordable than that one, it does come with a golden crown. Where? I feel like it's been... Oh, my, my, my. oh, does oh, oh. mine not come with a gold? Yeah, well, mine well, comes with, a, a, with like an a abalone. Perloid. Crime. Perloid. Crime. Crime. Crown. Crime. Crown. Uh, let's go through some pickups. Yeah, let's, let's have a look into... at home. Yep. What, what, what even was that? Was that like a 20... SG standard. 15 or 2016 That's a really standard? nice SG standard that I'm probably going to sell to buy a new one that actually comes with a case. Yes, because I remember... Anybody want an SG you, standard you from about a, two years ago? We did that BD1 video, didn't we? Or yep. RD1 video at your house and I used the SG. It sounded great. Yeah, it? But, it sounded good. So, uh, that guitar there is 849. Um, comes with that beautiful gig bag. I, as I said, somebody technical, maybe if you own a pickup company, and you understand these things. Explain kind of why people make mini humbuckers because tonally speaking, I've always struggled to really hear a big difference between right, a mini well, humbucker let's, and a, and a, and let's a regular see if you can humbucker. hear the difference when I microscope. <laughs> well, we'll have to. I like the clarity in it. But I don't think that's to do with the mini humbucker. It might be. Um, so. The SG Faded, which is the most affordable uh, guitar in the in the in the lineup, which again I said it before about the Les Paul um, Faded. I think you have to put this in context, whether or not you can afford seven ninety nine or not. Whether you think that's uh, good value or sorry, whether yeah, whether it's affordable or not, I guess depends on how much you earn. But is it good value? And you put it up against um, other guitar brands that are trying to make guitars in the USA, and you just sit there going, well. Gibson's almost on its own. I don't think I don't think Fender make anything anymore that's seven ninety nine. I think even their special series strats start from about nine hundred. Um, if your car had to have American... a seven hundred pound repair, you'd be like, oh no. Yeah, that would be a bummer, wouldn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. But um, then if you got a guitar instead, you'd be like, oh yeah. <laughs> so I suppose it's definitely worth it. So I think they are. I think they're good value. But anyway, let's have a listen to this. Sounds authentic, authentically good. Uh, 
And I said I wouldn't do this, but I'm doing it. So oh. I can't remember how it goes now. Hang on a second. I, I said to Lee, let's get through an ST review and not play it. Any- I won't do any more. But <laughs> it's a sound. Marshall amplifier. You can't leave it hanging uh, there, man. I can't remember where it goes. Yes, I can. You Hang can't on. bring a thousand men to the edge. Go and get them my school uniform. Where does it go? I can't remember where it goes now. I'm going all ages you... young on myself. I can't help it. Sorry. You were confusing that. Can I just say, as good as amp as the boogie is, that doesn't sound like Angus Young. Marshall and SG sounds like Angus Young. Boogie and SG sounds like something different. I don't know, I thought it sounded quite good. Don't play any ACDC, it didn't last anything. We, we ruined some ACDC for you there. It's impossible. I defy anybody to own an SG and a Martian amplifier and not at some point play something off of Back in Black. But there we are. I can't even remember what else to tell you about this. So this is the, the faded. So there's no, the, the, the nitro finish on this is like this much, much thinner, more like a sealant rather than like a gloss effect, if you like, so you can feel the grain of the wood through it. Got the same pickups, the 61R, 61T, same pickups are on there, but with no pickup covers, no binding, simpler inlays, um, same kind of thickness. Oh, speaking of thickness, and again, <laughs> honestly, literally, four grown men, as soon as I said speaking of thickness, giggled in here. Back in black! <laughs> um, I hit the sack. <laughs> Forget the hearse, because I'll never die. I got nine lives, cat sides. <laughs> What were you saying, Lee? Sorry. Uh, that, the high performance version of the SG standard this year, and as I said, I'm yet to play one, so I'm not sure, is apparently a bit thicker than uh, the current Les Paul. And one of the features about it is, and I don't really quite understand, but one of the features about it is you're supposed to be able to put your finger right in the middle of the guitar and it balanced yeah. perfectly. Which... Oh, I know what that is. Why? It's so that... Almost like certainly Twa. exactly why Twa. they did it. Twa. Twa. So why don't you play this one, and I'll play this one, All right, and then... You, you want to give me the cheat one, do you? No, that's the deer one. Is it? Okay, fine. <laughs> hey. It's got quite a grasp on this. Has it? Is it a bit sticky? <laughs> yeah. Are you struggling to figure it out? I got it. <laughs> I'd like to apologise to the entire world. The good news is, is that this is the last video of the day, so by the time we do the, the Gibson video tomorrow morning, we'll have had a good night's sleep. Um, well, some of us will. Some of us will. Uh, right. We're going, we're going to go to the cinema. We're going to watch a cool film. To, maybe the, the Dark, Dark Tower one. So, and we should get Korean food too. It'd be really good to get Korean food. Let's do some sort of play out jam okay. where you stay on that guitar. All right. But I'll swap between these two. All right. I'll give you.
Hey everybody, thanks for watching the Anderton's Guitar YouTube channel. If you're a drummer or a keyboard player or interested in music technology, you might find one of our other channels interesting and I'll put details of those in the description below. If you want to find out more about the products we've just featured, please click here. If you'd like to buy a t-shirt like this, please click here. If you want to watch another video on our guitar channel, click down here. And to subscribe to our guitar channel, click here. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.